The one thing that I wish I had done when I started blogging and creating online content was to build a mailing list. So in this video, I'm going to do a demonstration of ConvertKit and show you how it works and what's under the hood. I'll also be covering the features and also how it works. Now, if you watch this video until the end, I have a surprising gift. So do watch this video until we get to the end. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the integrations because I think uh, ConvertKit integrations are very, very important because you don't want a system that does not work well with what you currently have. And also, if you're planning to expand in the future, these integrations are very, very important. So let's go through the list and I'll show you what they are. Okay, so we're here on the integrations page. So if we take a look at this, this these are all the things that work with ConvertKit. So if you're here on the e-commerce and payments portals and you use any of these, you are guaranteed that it's going to work very well. And also here we have the most popular one, uh, Shopify and also WooCommerce. So it really works well with that. Okay, so moving forward, we also have Pay Kickstart and this is for affiliate management. Okay, and then moving on, we also have the commerce tools like uh, Autodesk and Recont. Okay, so here we are on the lead capture, and this is my favorite because this is where we get to grow our mailing list. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of companies here, uh, the popular ones being Blue, Bloom from Elegant Themes. We have ClickFunnels. We also have Convert Plus, Optin Monster, and also Thrive Lead. So all these work very well with ConvertKit. And then over here on the memberships and course sites, we have quite a lot of these as well. We have a member, uh, Lifter LMS, a new Kijabi, Teachable, and as you can see, there's quite a lot of these. And we also have wishlist member, which I use as well. And then moving here, we have the webinar services. We have webinar jam, webinar ninja. So this is great. And also look at this. We also have uh, surveys and quizzes, and um, we have gravity forms as well. So as you can see. The integrations are fantastic. There's a lot here that you can connect with your business. And one of the most important things with building a, um, a list or even building an online business is to have easy integrations. And this is why I chose to talk about the integrations first. Okay, so now let's go into my account and let me show you what is happening here. So the first time you log in, this is what you see. You see this dashboard with all your subscribers and also the growth. And on the top here, we have the total. So as you can see here, my list currently is at 4,339 and growing. Okay, so on the bottom here, we have my forms. So this is where all my subscribers are. And I've also separated them into different lists. And this is the best way to do it. Because if you want to send emails, let's say to uh, Div University subscribers, you can just do that without affecting all the other ones here. Okay, and the good thing about this as well, it is it shows you the visitors to that capture page and also how many subscribers they are. So as you can see, this is giving me a conversion rate of 12.3%. Now here where you see 100%, this is because I imported these from MailChimp and also here as well. Okay, so let's talk about the fun stuff. So over here on the top, this is where we get all the main features. So we have the forms, the automations, the sequences, the broadcast, and the subscribers. So let me show you quickly how you can create a form. So all you have to do is to come over here, click on create form. So you choose the form and these are the three types. So you can either choose this one, this one, or that one. It doesn't matter which one you choose. So I'm going to go with this one. Now look at how easy it is to customize this. So if I come over here, instead of saying join newsletter, I can say download free ebook. So this is how easy it is to update this. So as you can see now, I've just changed this text easily and we can also do the same here. On the top left, this is where you get to give your form a name. So you can call this free ebook, for example. This is where you get to further customize this. If you go to the settings, this is where you can say, okay, after someone has signed up onto your mailing list, what do you want uh, to happen? So over here, you can just, you know, add a success message or you can redirect them to a, another page. So this could be a thank you page or a page that you specifically create for your subscribers to see. Over here, we have the incentive email. So as soon as they sign up to your form, you can customize your message here. And also, if you are giving away, let's say, an ebook, you can click here on in, uh, incentive download, and that is where you upload your file. And once they sign up, they will get uh, redirected to the download. So that is how easy it is this works. And this is why 
I really like ConvertKit because the other systems were quite difficult to really grasp and try and find out how things work. Okay, so over here on style, this is where you can customize the visual styles and make it look the way you want. Now, if you're good at CSS, this is where you can also come in and add your custom CSS. And then over here, we have the embed, and this is the one of the most important one. You have different options here to embed your form. So let's say you use a system which is not even WordPress. This is where you copy this code and you paste it on your website, and that will be your opt-in form. And that's how easy it is. And then over here, you have your raw HTML. Now, this is where you get to use, like, for example, Bloom or even Thrive Leads where you can use this code and design the opt-in the way you want it. Now, if you're a WordPress user, this is where you come and what you want to do is to go to your WordPress website and download the free plugin. And once it's downloaded, all you have to do is to copy this short code and paste it wherever you want this opt-in form to be. And then over here, we have the form integrations. I don't really use this, but it's there if you need it. And then here on the other options, this is where you get to duplicate the form. Let's say the form is performing very well. You can duplicate the form and then just change a few things. And also, if you want to delete the form and um, you don't want to use it anymore, this is where you come to delete it. And then you can save the form over here as well. Now, on this last tab here, subscribers, this is where you get to see all your subscribers, your conversion rate and how things are. And this is also where you can download your subscriber list. So it's very, very easy to use. Now, let's move on to the next tab. And this one is one of my favorite ones. These are the automations, okay? So this is where you can get to, in fact, let me click here so you can see what is happening with one of my lists here. So here's how it works. So this is my free WordPress course that I'm giving away. It tells me how many subscribers there are. And when I click here, it tells me what I can do. So for example, I want to tag everyone that signs in to my WordPress course. So I give them a tag called WP free. So that's the action. And you can also have conditions. So if you come over here, you can actually uh, change the conditions. So you can say if this person matches this thing, then they, then this action should be taken. So there's quite a lot you can do here. And then over here as well, if you take a look, Okay, so let's take a look at my email sequence here. So what happens is when people subscribe onto my list here, this is the first email they get, which is right here. So this email, this is my message. Pretty much I'm talking about how you can better design gorgeous looking websites. So I can actually customize this and uh, specify when I want this email to be sent. Should, we, should it be after a day, after someone subscribes, or should it be after an hour? So as you can see, my email after the, uh, the first one here is after an hour. So after an hour of seeing this, they also get this email here. And this is where I'm giving them an offer to buy Divi. And when they buy Divi, I'll give them access to my Blueprint course. So you can add even more emails here and you can customize the times. As I said, you can come over here and say when to send. So if you click this pencil icon, it tells you, you know, which day. So if let's say it's a specific day you want to send it, you can always set it up here. And here you can also change it to day or hour. So you can specify maybe five hours or so. It's as simple as that. It's very, very easy. And then here is where you add all your content and this is where you add your subject line. Okay, so this is how you do your automations. Now, why are automations very, very important? Now, you can imagine, if you were to send an email after every single person signs up onto your mailing list, I mean, it will take you a very long time to accomplish that. So by automating the process and pre-designing all your emails that need to be sent out, sent out, this process here will be happening automatically. And this is why this is really, really powerful. Okay. So I'm just going to cancel this and let's move on to the next thing, which is the sequences. So over here, I'm just going to click on leave. So over here on the sequences, again, this is where you get to come and uh, create your sequence of emails that need to be sent after an action has been taken. Okay. So take a look here. This is the sequence that uh, you build and I know that uh, this is now connected with my automations so what you need to do is to first build the sequence and then connect it with the automations now I know this may be overwhelming as I'm going through this but you know what I have a course which will explain everything in an easy to understand way 
Okay, so moving on, let's come over here to the broadcast. So these are the emails that you sent out any time of the day. It may be like maybe time for a promotion or you want to let people know what is going on. So these emails are separate to automations because the automations and sequences, these are set emails. But these broadcasts are emails that you send at, a, at any time and this could be one-offs. So the great feature here with the broadcast is the A-B testing. Now, if you take a look here, I have A-B. So I'm just going to go into the report and show you how that works. Okay, so what, what you do is you create an email with two different headlines. So if this is my first headline, design awesome pages with DV layouts. And then over here, my headline is new video, how to design gorgeous pages with DV layout. Now, there's no way of knowing which one is going to perform better than the other. So hence the A-B testing. So you can see here, I know it's not much of a difference, but I've had instances where one headline performed way much better than the other one. But there's no harm in doing this because this is a great way to see what works better. Okay, so here we can see there's an, there's an open rate of 29.1 and this one is 28.4 and also the click-through rate is 6.2% here and 6.5%. But overall, this one is the winner because more people opened it. But like I said, this is a very close, close one. Okay, now over here with the broadcast, this is where you get to get the recipients. You can get to see the clicks as well. So here we get to see the total clicks. We can also see the unsubscribers, the recipients. Now, I won't go into the recipients because this is going to show people that are signed up onto my mailing list. So over here, we have the subscribers. So this is the list of all your subscribers. You can import subscribers as well to your list easily. So to import, all you have to do is to click on import subscribers and then you drag and drop your CSV file here. So this is ideal in situations where you want to move from one marketing solution to convert kit and creating a new broadcast is easy all you have to do is to come over here to new broadcast and then you can specify where you want your broadcast to go so if you want to send it to all subscribers you can do so but if you want to send it to specific li uh, specific lists you can do that by coming over here and then you can click this drop down and you can say for everyone who is subscribed to uh, let's say the form, WordPress course, add the filter. So the email that I'm going to compose here is going to be sent to anyone who subscribed to the free WordPress course. And it also gives you a total of the subscribers over here on the top, which is fantastic. Now, let's say you want to add another filter. So you can say uh, subscribe to, you select the list. And this time I'm going to choose, let's say tags. And let's say anyone who has a tag of DV student, add filter. And then here, you can also say matching all or matching any. Okay, so matching any will just combine, you know, these two. So this is how you choose who you want to send this email to. And then over here, you have this big blue button. So you can click on next step and then it shows you what you need to do next. So this is the part that I was talking about when I was talking about the A-B testing. So you can click here on A-B. And then this is where you add your, your first headline. And this is where you add your second headline. Okay. And then the system calculates which one performs better and sends most of the emails there. And then over here, this is where you type in your email. And this is also quite cool because you can, you can also customize your text by making it bold. You can make it italic and you can also add images as you can see and also links. Okay. So once that's done, all you have to do is to click on next and then you're ready to send your email. And then all, uh, and then over here, you also have your email template. So you can choose any templates that uh, you want over here. And that's the template that will be applied when you send your email. Now, there's also something that is also quite interesting, which is the tags. So every time someone signs onto your form, you can assign a tag to them so that you can easily send emails or add them to your automations based on the tags. So as you can see, this is a really, really powerful system. And I highly recommend that you use ConvertKit because it's user friendly. It's full of features. It's full of integrations and it is very, very easy to use time for the surprise gift that I spoke about. So here it is. If you buy ConvertKit using my affiliate link, 
I am going to give you three bonuses. Okay, let's talk about the first one. So the first one is a WordPress course. Pretty much it teaches you how to use WordPress effectively. And uh, by the end of the course, you will have mastered WordPress. The second course, which is very, very important if you are going to be buying ConvertKit is the ConvertKit course. So what I've done in this course is I've covered everything that you need to know to get you up and running. So I give you all the examples and also how I implement ConvertKit in my own system. So pretty much this course covers everything. And if there's anything that I've left out, all you have to do is to drop me an email and I'll create even more videos. Okay, so let's move on to the third one. So the third one is a course on how to use Divi. So what is Divi? If you haven't heard about it, it's a page builder and it's one of the most popular out there. It makes building WordPress website very, very easy. So this course covers pretty much everything that you need to know in order for you to create beautiful looking websites. So if you're thinking of uh, building beautiful websites, this course is right there for you. Uh, you also you have full access to it. Now, here's the thing. If you buy the convert kit using my affiliate link, all you have to do is to drop me an email and I will just give you access to these courses absolutely free. So that's my surprise gift for you. And this is a bonus because these courses cost well over $300. So that is what I'm adding on top because I would like to see you succeed in your email marketing. And you know what? In the future, I'm also going to create courses on how to build your mailing list. And because, you'll be someone, uh, because you're someone that have bought my course using my affiliate link, I will also give you access to that course absolutely free. So come on, buy ConvertKit, use my affiliate link and you'll get all these bonuses absolutely free. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.